I got shot by him. <laughs> Some man said them are galleys and no woman now press them clothes. You see, this is one of the benefits of being a one burner. Duh. Oh. Welcome to Crime Time News and Entertainment with a Buzz. Now, people, the video that you see, it is called Don't Try This At Home. Which other man pa massa got earth pan this planet earth? Could have gone on some sorts of life. This the woman and tell her, say, mine you get a proper coffins of the box dung type. Then do a next video in which he is using reverse psychology and saying that she is the instigator. She initiate the whole thing. So don't mind what you see. What you see is not what you see. They then go out and get matching tattoos. Well, not actually matching tattoos of each other name. They then go to Devon House, have ice cream and soap. And then he gets her to iron his clothes. People, this man is built a little bit different. Like me say, whenever you are a top celebrity, membership has its privilege. You can get nice girls to jump through hoop. Because whether it is your charisma, whether it is your reputation, whether it is your charm, whether it is your fame and fortune, me not really know where I go on. People, make me know where I go on in the comment section. Point blank and period. This one is called, we see that the promoters of Leng being his son that is running, in, running the affairs of Sting. And also Mr. Sting, Isaiah Leng himself. Came out and they sent a message. We'll call it a warning to Vibes Cartel. So pretty much the son and the father is saying, Listen, Sting has been a staple. Sting's date, which is the 26th of December, every year for a couple of decades. Do not run in on the turf. When it comes to some fest, they have their time. There is no other show just like it that is being held. As it pertains to Sting, we should get the same respect. Respect goes a very long way. So in the statement that they made, they said, Listen, we understand Vice Cartel has been locked up for a little while, 13 years. We do not wish prison power worse enemy. However, do not violate the thing. Don't come out here and say, promote that you're doing any sort of show in a December when you know within yourself that this is Sting's time. You could keep the show today. You could keep the show in a January. You could keep the show the closest, the early parts of December. Call it said the first week in a December. But if you make your show, which is sponsored, promoted by Joe from Downsound. Anytime close to Sting, it is going to be a major violation. As a matter of fact, the son even came out and said there are going to be three days for Sting this year. One is going to be a sound clash. One is going to be a beach party. And then the 26th, the regular-ish. The son even made it very clear that, listen... We are willing to give Vibes Cartel one of those days. As a matter of fact, we would negotiate. He gets 70% and we take 30% just to be on the safe side. So people, you hear that Vibes Cartel pretty much have the sting promoters by the balls. However, there are certain things that he said and people, like I said, he is being very diplomatic, the promoters of Sting. There are a couple of things that Mr. Isaiah Leng said that if you have any sorts of sense or street knowledge, you would know that these are warning. And again, this is my disclaimer. Don't know his mindset, cannot put word in anybody's mouth. So therefore, what I am saying is my opinion or my interpretation. One of the things that he said, outer road is different. My interpretation, it is not like 13 years or 14 years ago when you have the place lock. Things change out here so kind of different. The youth them, what you can get done is more serious. 
And again, like I said, he made it very clear. Listen, I wish Vice Cartel all the best. I would not want to see my worst enemy in a prison. But he is making Vice Cartel know, so listen, you are moving too fast. Maybe the hype I get to you. So therefore, you are not making sensible decisions like you should. Now, people, when we hear stuff like that, it goes without saying, yes, Leng is not going to come out and say, listen, don't F-U-C-K yourself, or maybe you might end up in a very bad predicament. But you have to understand the mindset of these two persons, Leng, ex po bad boy po You have to understand the history. Vice Cartel felt as if he was violated that year in which he kept his concert at the building, I think, in a new Kingston, and it was locked down. He made it very clear. He went on Cliff Hughes' show and he said that a sting, a sabotage, the party, Lengs and the poor, poor friend, them are locked down in place. So, people, just imagine that was sting then, sting in its prime. If somebody Keep some sorts of party at some sorts of club where the maximum people can't hold in this. So, me and said, prob- as a matter of fact, I was there. About four or five hundred people, if it overflow. Just imagine if Vice Cartel and um, Joe, Joe Bogdanovich is going to keep some sorts of show with tens of thousands of persons are going to be in attendance. Just imagine how severely ampered it is going to be. So I say this to say that if you think that that was a sabotage, then just try and keep your show within the time frame that is considered a violation by Leng and his son. And you see what is going to happen. Like him say, things are different than 14 years ago. And people, if you've been watching the news, it has amped up or gotten a million falls worse. So therefore, if you could and D-E-A-D back then... Don't feel like you can D-E-A-D easily now. And people, this is just my opinion. That is not what Leng said. But just I tell you what I say. Now, one of the things that I see is that Futa Hype claiming that he has no interest in a sting and I have no reason to validate that he do or does. He must say sting, vice cartel for go as sting. And Vice Cartel is also supposed to do Joe's show, in which he will, because he said it himself. However, people, here's the thing. Like I said, and I said it before, and I'm going to say it again for all that did not hear. Whenever you have any sorts of show as any sorts of big promoter, and you're bringing in a top artist, one of the stipulations that you're going to have is that that artist did not perform up to six months before the date of your concert, maybe in some case even a year. So not only are we talking about Lang's best interest as it pertains to his show being flop, most importantly is the person, Joe, that is going to pay Vibes Cartel a huge sum of money, Boko cash for this concert. He is going to look out for his profit, his own interest, as in money. So therefore, he would not agree unless, of course, whatever performance Vice Cartel does at Sting, and I doubt that he is, is not going to be the same in which he do at his concert, meaning Joe's concert. So therefore, I doubt it very much. Maybe the only negotiation that we will have is that the shows are kept at separate meaning a vast different date meaning that one keep not the first week and the next one at the last week that is the only negotiation so Leng is sending out a clear warning that if you cross the pod cross the turf it is going to be problematic in the words of the great bounty killer people might be d-e-a-d-i-n-g as a matter of fact that is rosy point blank and period so the next thing that is popping in the news, and this is based on the video that you see being played on the screen as I speak. Vice Cartel went on his social media handle and he made a couple of posts. The video on TikTok is official page, Vice Cartel. And he was showing his son in a Cartier watch. 
there was a video circulating all over social media with his son paying, I think, about a million dollars for that watch. That is about 7,000 US or so. Cartier top brand watch. He also showed his watch and him say, him son in a Cartier and him in a Rolex bezeled out expensive setting. So therefore, we can come to the conclusion that he is taunting his hater. What solid solidified that is when he made an next post or several other posts. And the post goes something like this with the caption. When you found out that they only hate you for your talents and money and not for being an alleged gangster, you notice he used the word alleged. He was not done there. It then was captioned by a Psalms or a quote from a Psalms. And the words go something like this. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion. Who seeks to destroy my life? Let them be driven backwards and brought to dishonor. Who wish me evil? Let them be confounded because of their shame. Now people, when you hear this, you know that virus cartel is taunting. And the question that most persons are going to ask and the question or answer that you probably will not get from any blog upon social media with the exception of myself. Because it seems as if the only other blogger than myself that have any sorts of balls is pretty done. Everybody else coward. Everybody else wants to be a part of everything. Everybody else are some sets of coward, ballsless, spineless people. However, not me. I am going to tell you who he is exactly taunting. It is the Vendetta fans. And not only the Vendetta fans, the such blogger fans. So therefore, the Vendetta people, the Alkaline people are also fans of such blogger. So therefore, pretty much two in one and one in two, if you are churchical, in other words, of L.A. Lewis and I quote. So the facts are these, two of the biggest fan base in a dance hall, especially when Alkaline was actually relevant. Yes, he is a classic artist, so therefore him a big tune, give credit where credit is due. However, right now he pretty much drop off of the map. He is lost. However, when you have classic, you're always going to be relevant, not up to date. Well, uh, kind of confusing. We also see that he has been getting a bashing from day one from such people. So therefore, we see, say, he might try to get drought, but he is not going to allow himself to be drawn out. So what he does is send subliminals because he is never, ever, ever, ever going to answer such blogger. He is never, ever, ever going to answer Alkaline again now that he is free. So I say this to say that while all of the Vendetta fans are wishing and hoping at the wishing well that Vice Cartel actually responds to Alkaline, actually sends out some sorts of this song after Alkaline, it is going to be an exercise in futility. It will never happen. The likely possibility of that happening is if you can get struck by lightning one million times in a millionth of a second. Now go happen. So when we look at what Virus Cartel is doing, he is dissing them very, very badly. What does he mean by shame? What does he mean by confusion? Well, we see say, the Alkaline fans, they are delusional. And we see that such blogger reputation pretty much took a big crash. Even though you might hear him say, not Nagosa and he is not faced people, the lashing and the beating that him get past social media. It is nothing normal or was nothing normal. But people, whenever you come out with the mantra, we are going to make Jamaica better again. Same strategy that was used by Trump in the election. You saw that it worked to a T. Whenever you are a psychopath, you know exactly what to do. You're never going to do any sorts of damage control. You're always going to be in denial because at the end of the day, 
Whatever you say is true, whatever it is a lie. Never let them see you sweat. Psychology 101, point blank and period. So the moral of the story is this. Vibes Cartel, even though he promotes devilish act, is always quoting from the Bible. Vice Cartel is saying that the hate that you see, it is not because of the incident that took place as it pertains to Lizard in 2011. It has all to do with his talent and success. Vice Cartel, that is not the fact. People actually think, a lot of people think that you lost or you won this case by some sorts of technicality because the system fumbled. So therefore, yes, people hate you. People are natural haters, especially Jamaican people. So therefore, yes, some people like you because those are your fan base. But some people hate you justifiably because they think within themselves that you actually did something that is despicable, as in M-U-R-D-E-R. So therefore, by you chanting or texting or quoting from the Bible Psalms to be specific, it makes you look kind of hypocritical. On the other side, Vice Cartel knows exactly who his haters are. They are the Alkaline Vendetta fans and they are such blogger. Ironically, those same fan base of Vendetta and Alkaline is the same fan base of such blogger. And they are the ones that you always see trolling, stalking everybody's comment section because them need a bot and them need a life, them need a job. They are not gainfully employed. So therefore, the only thing that they're on social media doing is pretty much being a menace to the social media landscape. And you're going to see it in the comment section. These little dirty-ish don't have anything to do. Point blank and Period. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that since Vice Cartel released from prison, all of the crazy, the lonely tones, the mad prophets, they are out and about. And this video is of a next one. Take a listen, take a look to this not so sensible being footage, and then I'll give my peace. In a free we bread and we sister them for start to pray. We get me message from God and we get me prophecy from God. We know one the negative people come from me page. The, light, the Lord said, there's a dead angel is over cartel. And the Lord said, who oh, and friend them? I go set him up and kill him. And me I put out my warning and me I put out my prophecy where God give me. Me no want no negative people come on my page. If you don't believe, no come on my page. God give me my warning and me I put it out. Now people like me say, this is it, an ex false prophets. A lot of times these people are delusional, they are scammers, they are con artists. So when you hear them come and tell you, say, me get a vision from God, people, it is a dream, or maybe it is in their own deluded mind. Not no gusso, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, Please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.